The Denver Police Department saw its beginnings over 154 years ago with the formation of the Denver Marshals. A lot has changed since then, not only for the city, but for those who dedicate their lives to protecting it. It's important to preserve the history of Denver's police department so that we can understand the challenges faced and learn from the past. To remind us of the hardships endured for the sake of progress. To commemorate those who have protected and served throughout the years. and to educate ourselves and future generations of the importance of law enforcement. It is for those reasons and more that the Denver Police Museum project was formed. Since it was established in 2008, the museum has collected thousands of photographs, film reels, and videotapes containing hundreds of hours of footage and scores of artifacts including all of the badges worn between 1859 and the current officers. With such a rich law enforcement history, the museum is always adding more and more items to its inventory. The ever-increasing amount of artifacts creates a strong demand for volunteers and support. From accurately tracing the history behind a photograph, and painstakingly restoring aged artifacts to creating an environment that is as engaging as it is informative for all age groups, especially youth. The Denver Police Museum is committed to providing a memorable and unique learning experience. Like its counterparts around the United States, the Denver Police Museum has great ambition in the same way that Houston and Los Angeles have restored police helicopters on display and Seattle has 15 vehicles in various stages of restoration. The Denver Police Museum has plans to install equally awe-inspiring exhibits, including interactive experiences for kids, with the aim to portray the past of Denver's law enforcement in an engaging and captivating way. One of the reasons a police museum is important is that every community has a unique history. We want to tell the story of Denver's 154-year history and its role in Colorado's development through the eyes of the police department. We've got a lot of great family stories, personal stories, the things that you don't normally see in, in the media. We have a very large plan to move past our archiving space that we currently have now, which is about 800 square feet, to eventually develop about a 15 to 20,000 square foot state-of-the-art interactive display area. Our target audience is pretty much everyone. It's important that a community trust its police department, that they know its police department, and that there's that, that vital link between the officers and the average citizen that may call them for a response. So we would invite anyone to come in and see who we are, what we do, how we operate, and how we've gotten to the point we are today. The sky is the limit, and we're partnering with other law enforcement and small niche museums, and our goal is to do this right the first time, and that's going to require some pretty significant resources. Uh, that's why we've established ourselves as a 501c3 nonprofit to enable us to do a little bit more creative fundraising. Uh, we don't want to be a line item budget on the department and a burden for the regular public safety expenses that the city has. We want this simply to enhance the department and to make it interactive with the community. Another unique aspect of the museum is preserving the legacy of the men and women that have served on this department. Over the last 154 years, I would estimate we've probably had between six and 8,000, maybe more police officers that have worked in this city. Of that, we've had 73 officers that have given the ultimate sacrifice. Nine of those 73 were historical officers who died and didn't have any family members to bring their story forward. It's up to the museum to carry on their line, tell their story to future generations and make sure that they're not forgotten. So we ask that you support us. If you know of anyone that can help us, if you are interested in joining our team, whether financially, physically, or just through the support of artifacts, you can go to our website at www.denverpolicemuseum.org or you can reach myself, Technician Dean Christofferson, via the Denver Police Department. And I would like to take the time right now to thank you personally 
for your interest in the museum and any support and an opportunity that we've had now to tell you how important this is to not only the rank and file men and women of the police department but to the community itself at large.